Okay. Some calming, calming sounds, relaxing sounds. Hello, lovely human beings. It is I, Jess, a、uh, Scar Skeptics, today welcoming you to a game called Summer Land. This game is free on Steam, and it it is recommended to me because I played the Unfinished Swan before. So yeah, don't know much about this game. I I just take a look at the Steam profile, and it says that、uh, it's just a first person walking simulator kind of game that、uh, showcases. You're playing as Matthew as a detective or something. I don't know. Oh my God, that was loud. All right, that was a nice doom <laughs> new game. Still very loud. Summerland uses an auto save function that will automatically save your game upon reaching certain checkpoints. When you see the following, please.、Uh, okay. Don't crash, please. Am I in trouble? Okay, remain calm. It the uh oh. Uh hmm. Sensitivity. Weird. Hold on. <laughs> It the、uh, okay, but uh okay, fine. I'll get used to it. Remain calm. I, I am calm. Oh hello. Interact. Hello. Well, you're probably pretty confused, and that's fine. It's to be expected. But look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here. So, look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free. Anymore, I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score. But fair warning, I typically deal with the,、um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end. So <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know. Oh, I know.、Man. It seems a bit harsh, but. If you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. That's oh, true. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family. <laughs> it gets annoying. <laughs> you know, it's almost like no one even reads the <laughs> sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Remain calm and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. Ah,、uh, what if I can't read? What does this say? Uh, freak out. All right. So do I just walk out to the door? Oh God! Uh, frame rate. Uh, uh, kind of bad frame rate. What happened? Do I not have any settings? Cause I want to change a few things. Please. All right. Uh, remain calm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, do I go to the order of the things of the number of this? Yeah. Okay. Number one. Oh God! Frame rate. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, oh. Okay. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> oh. Talk about anything else? Did you check the report? 
No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. <coughs> Sorry. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Okay, focus on what? Okay. Also, why is it telling me to run? Are we running away from something? Please don't, please don't chase me. I hate it. I just want to have a relaxing game of walking simulator, not being chased by anyone. Oh wait. Oh, can I not go there? Oh man, I want to do the whole Shrek thing. Somebody was dumbing away. Okay, fine. What am I doing? I I can't I can't get up. Do I just focus on this? I'm kind of having motion sickness. So it's, it's a bit, bleh, you know. Ah, uh, help! You can't leave yet. I definitely haven't found enough evidence. Evidence of what? Of the murder? Is the fucking knife? Close the door. Hi. Welcome back. Oh. It says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. Date reported. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. Yeah. <sighs> Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's gonna do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything to read. Gunshot. Okay. Does that activate the fact that I could enter? There we go. This casing belongs to a nine millimeter bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. Hmm. Knife. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Can I go up now? Mm. Yeah! Excuse me. Coming oh. through. Oh, Jesus Christ, it smells like shit in here. Whoever Leave lived here out. wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. <laughs> leave it out. Leave the leave the bleh, dirty air out. Hello. Ooh, pills. Are you on medication? Antidepressants. Um. Uh, anti. Anti whatever. And and anesthetics. A knife. Paper. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. Are you buying drugs? I think so. No, wrong button. There we go. First eight. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. Well, it could be. You don't know. Oh, lighter. You smoking? Ah, oh, there's a bullet hole. Maybe. Bullet hole? Ooh, shotgun. I need to be careful. If the person living here isn't our friend laying in the dirt, he could be out there and armed. Anything else? If you're ever lost, press F for a reminder. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should find everything in front of the cabin first. In front of the cabin? Thank you. Okay, so we got the knife, we got blood stains, we got axe. Axe is sharp. Nope. Good for chopping wood, but. Oh, well, now I can follow the blood stains. Jeez. Now I can follow it. Alright, it's kind of confusing, but it's manageable. It is fine. Also, motion sickness. Sorry, everybody. Ooh, gun. Gun. Looks like this handgun was discarded and rather hastily I need at that. 
It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. I need eight evidences. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, blood stain. Blood stain. Anything else? Is this blood stain? It kinda is. I I guess. <laughs> I'm guessing that's blood stain. Uh, let's look around the side. Hmm. Did you use a rock to attack someone? Now where's the guy with a gun? We found the gun. An arm, probably. That's good to know. You don't want to follow someone with who's armed. I'm sorry, but are these are these blood stains? No, those are just plants. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry for misunderstanding. Uh, something shiny. What's that? Just rocks. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just rocks. God damn it! Thought I found something. Never mind, Evelyn. Y you keep doing your thing. Uh, you're not even helping me out. I can't even see you. Where the hell are you? Ooh, mats. Foggy mist. Hmm. Where did I come from? I think I'm lost. Shit. Oh, that was the cabin. I was walking this side, and then this side, I don't know man, I don't know, need to find like five more evidences, jeez, come on, give me something, alright, pills, yes, I remember that, and then, leaves, hmm, Shroomies. I can't see anything useful. Hmm. Ooh, grave. Hand dug. Probably by whoever lives here. Too small for a person. I don't want to think about what's buried here. Well, why not? Let's get a shovel. Uh, maybe not. Go. Maybe we could pay our respects. Do you think that's possible? Anyway, um, anything? Anything at all? I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should find everything in front of the cabin first. There shouldn't be too much left. There's like five more that I need to find. Now, where are they? Evelyn, are you even helping me? I don't even see you, but I'm sure you're looking around. Please do tell me that you find something, though. And you know, yell for me. <laughs> yell for me that you find it. Can I, can I take the gas tank now? No? Nothing? Uh, hmm. Bridge? Oh, I can cross now. Nice. But, uh... Can't stray too far. All right, on this side right, of the bridge. all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, sorry. I'm just looking around. I'm trying to look for evidences. Blood stains. Uh, can I interact with this? Nope. This looks very bright red. Is it fresh? If it's fresh, then that means it just happened like a few minutes ago. Hmm. This one's not so fresh. <laughs> Anything sparkly at all? Is this it? Oh, dollar bill. Yeah, fucking well, hell. We may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. Why toss it away? Who knows? You know, trying to make a deal ended it badly, like what you said. I think I just need to follow the path. Instead of wandering around <laughs> and follow the blood stains, cause they okay, they are the target of finding evidences. Hello, nothing. Okay, blood stain. Yeah, can I not investigate the blood stain and just try to see if this is fresh? Anything? Blood stain. Oh, this is a large puddle of blood stain. That means it's nearby, is it? Oh. Get. Pills. 
Not I can only pick it up here. now? Are you fucking Strong. kidding me? Some people would pay good money for this. Why is it number seven here? Oh well. Alright, pills. Yes, okay. And then... Uh, more blood stains. You're... You're losing a lot of blood. Ooh, heart. Coincidence? Hmm. Is it like a little... What's the, the reflections are a little bit weird, but okay, I'll 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 let it slide. This is the same dollar bill that I that we see, so I was walking the wrong way. Go up, go up, go up. It's just a little pavement, or is it, there's an invisible wall? All right, fine, fine. Well, where am I supposed to look? Huh? What am I supposed to do? Can I dug it? Hand dug. Probably by whoever lives here. Too small for a person. I don't want to think about what's buried here. It's probably a person. Or some... Or is an evidence. So why not dug it? Oh, what if I could go in now? And take a look at these? Whoever lives here is probably running their own little independent pharmacy. I can see why. This stuff isn't exactly over the counter. Hmm. A broom. Pills. I'm getting slightly motion sick. I need to be careful. Something shiny over there. Is that something? Blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that. Hello? Excuse me, coming through. Someone is here. <laughs> Fucking Bastard. hell. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss. Probably yeah. not too long after crawling in here. So where is his body? What if it's ducked inside, eh? What if he ducked him, dug himself, dug a grave for himself? Too small for a person. <laughs> Can't English today. What? Uh, 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 oh, okay. Shit. Okay. I'm okay. I, I need to focus back on the investigation. What? What kind of pills did you take? What the fuck? Did you have a heart attack? Did you have a poor heart? Wait, what if the two evidences are these two? Oh my god. Male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. Are I should you probably take a look at that blood as well. Are you fucking serious, really? How are you holding up? I'm feeling a bit better. You find everything you need? Not yet. I'm gonna keep looking. Well, I'll let you get to it. Wait, that's Evelyn? How are you holding up? I'm are you feeling fucking... a bit better. You find everything oh. you need? Oh. Not yet. I'm gonna keep looking. Well, I'll let you get to it. Wait, that's Evelyn? <laughs> okay. Um, Evelyn is um, is a sparkly, sparkly, sparkly dust particle. Sorry. <laughs> Glow particle. There we go. Sorry for calling you a dust, Evelyn. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking because apparently I still need one more. I should probably take a look at that blood as well. Ashray. Max is sharp. We can't leave yet. I definitely haven't found enough evidence. Where's the last one then? This in a very obvious place. 
I'm gonna complain it. Because it's not obvious to me. I should probably take a look at that blood as well. Don't tell me it's just a blood stain. Are you fucking kidding Looks me? Looks like someone had a bad day. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Are you fucking him? <laughs> well, would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. <laughs> All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. It's just a blood stain. I was way too into it, and I skipped over every single thing. <laughs> Okay, fine. Hi, Evelyn. Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus Christ. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more review and... It's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt? Can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These... People. Why did they resort to this? Just seems like some people... Don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but... I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start well, getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. I was so stupid. I didn't even notice that. It was in order. And I was way too quick in coming in too. <laughs> I was way too quick and I skipped every single thing. I didn't even know that it was the fucking blood stain. Oh, come on. All right, let's leave. Bye. Ah, okay, I get it. It's just me being stupid. <laughs> oh my god, just another day. Well, it's not telling me to remain calm and uh, again. Um, ah. You know, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you, a man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Alright. Uh, how many trials do I got? One... Test complete. Trial complete. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You must complete your trials. All right, fine. Uh, all right, let's get to two. Hopefully, this time I'll be less okay, stupid. Okay, let's get a little light in here. Light. Turn on. Oh, this one. That's better. All right, I need to get some work done. Now I need to check my email. Definitely need to get my bills paid too. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. Newspaper. <sighs> Damn it. Looks like they're cutting funding from the police force again. I can barely even pay for my medication. 
budget cuts continue throughout the month as many government workers are struggling to make ends meet. While this is impacting millions of Americans, there is little word as to what's causing this. Many speculate that this could be due to mass payouts to third parties. I cannot read the the other side of it, so... Ooh, you gonna drink some whiskey? Nice, get some lights on. Can I look at the pictures? <gasps> Is that an Xbox? PS4? Yeah, it's an Xbox. Oh. <laughs> you playing games with your... Uh, with your, with your boy? No signal. Ah, dang it. Alright. I need to check my bills. Should probably take Ooh, a look at my baby. email as well. You got a you got a nice happy family. You got a baby. Ah oh, how am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. You you should have a nice happy family. Or are you a single father, huh? Alright, let's go up the stairs to check my emails, I think. Now, where's my room? Just an old closet. I don't need anything in there at the moment. What? That's the closet? What the? What? Why Why do you need a, a look-through glass hole, a uh, peak hole, if it's just a closet? Okay, that's the toilet. Do you need to take a dump? Do you need to wash your hands? Do you need to come in here? Ooh, do you need to take medication? Brush your teeth? Nothing. Alright, uh, I don't have a reflection. I don't have a mirror. Alright, let's... This is closed. Okay, you can't close it. Turn the lights. Nice. Take a shower. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll get back to it later. Bye. I remember that oh. very day. I could go back just for a little while. Did you get divorced? You're a single father now? Can I turn on the lights? This is a nice house. It's sad that you have to. <sighs> I need to be quiet. Joey's sleeping. Oh, baby. Hello. Just look at him. I do it all for you, buddy. <laughs> you look just like your mother. I wish Anna could see you. Jesus, I can't believe it's been a year. <sighs> I'll do whatever I can to keep you safe. A single father, huh? Oh, well, can I pick up the toys and you, you know? Alright. Sleepy, sleepy. Shh. All right, emails. Sigh. Another pay cut. God I need damn to take it. A job. <laughs> Hello, officers and detectives. As you all know, the government has been continuously cutting funding from most all government job sectors. While it is not my place to give out opinions or shit, Joey's awake. Speculating. There's got to be something I can do to settle him down. All right, Joey. Joey. Hi, Joey. Oh, Joe. I need to do something to get uh, to sleep. What do you need? 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 Do you need your plushie? Do you need? Uh, the the fucking. Do something to get him back to sleep. Get the get the plushie, plushie. Uh, I need to do no. something to get him back to sleep. Ah. Uh, do you need milk? You probably need milk. Are you hungry? You're getting hungry, right? Sorry, Joey. Uh, I'll be right back. 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 There has to be something I can do to get Joe uh, back to sleep. D -d 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 milk? Anything? Milk? Mm. Fuck. I'm really hungry right now. Plus, I have. What am I supposed to do? to do? I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I don't really I'm need anything in the basement right now. Ooh, toys. Teddy. Teddy. Just carry him. Carry him. Carry him. Carry him. Come on. What am I supposed to do? Do I need to get milk for you? 
All right, fine. I I'll see if I'll see if I can get milk this time. Christ almighty. Hang in there, Joey. Hang in there. Hang in there. Papa's coming. Papa's coming. Papa's coming. Okay, you're still crying. Oh god, I I thought he died. Ooh, guitar. Well, this is a long shot. Oh but... yeah. Am I gonna do it? Hell yeah, Joel. No, I'll never do this as well as your mom. But... <laughs> that was quick. Baby boy. Oh. Don't cry, cause I'm right here by your side. Everything is all. Going on a full Joe mode, like The Last of Us. <laughs> Baby boy, the night's dark, but we're never far apart. Cause in your heart, when I'm gone, I'll still be. <laughs> that seemed to do it. I love you, buddy. Aww. All right, good night. Uh, uh, bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Not now. My pills. Ow, ow. Uh, fuck. My bathroom pills. is right here. Bathroom is right here. It's right here. It's right here. Bathroom. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Bathroom. Right here. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Get it. 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 Fuck. Damn it. It's getting worse. Oh, shit. I'm running low on pills. Why do they have to be so expensive? <sighs> okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. Alright, let's go downstairs. Need to take it easy. Oh, maybe I'll Am just... Am I not supposed to go yet? Head downstairs and see what's on TV. Oh, I'm done. Am I? A good father. Aw, thank you. What? You know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer, a single father... What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. What? You're gonna test me? Um, uh, what? Jeremy, be fucking hell, holy fuck, oh my god, what? You see, I don't think I know enough about you, yet. I want to learn who you are, get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now, Immanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. 
Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. Oh the fuck off. Is going no. To run over five no. people who are tied to the track. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. No. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your mm. morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient <laughs> ways to kill people if that was your goal. <laughs> Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait uh. of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. Well, personally, I agree that uh, Jeremy has the right idea for the whole trolley problem. Because really, I do think that is better than killing five people, you know? It's just what I think, you know? It's not everything you do is wrong. Sometimes you... Like the trolley problem. You, you, you have to kill someone anyway, but killing one is more than... is better than five. Because you, you really can't do anything. <laughs> so I agree with him. That's just my opinion, okay? That's just how I am. I do think that it's better to kill one than five. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But I just agree with him, okay? Okay, third one. Ooh, hello. Am I in the office? All right, time to get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. Is it this one? No? Oh, this is... <clears throat> Sorry, Lilith. Um, Jacob. Marcus. Uh, where's my desk? Matthew. Okay. I have the fancy chair. Nice. Actually, no. Everyone has the fancy chair. Hmm. It doesn't look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. Oh, like the the one that you did? Yeah, everyone has some nice, nice chairs, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, you guys drinking some coffee? Cup of joes? Can I ask one? You printing something? Okay. This is the female's toilet and this is the male's toilet. All right, you know what? No time to pee. Let's go. Hmm. East wing officers. Okay, so uh, am I checking the evidences? Is it right here? No. These ones. No. I am a vampire. Oh wait, no. Oh, that's just <laughs> that's 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 just a window. It's not a it's not a mirror. Captain Stark typically likes to keep to herself. Let's not bother her. Okay. Do I go up the lift? Boom. Thank you. I have no buttons. Oh. Am I going to first? Oh, okay. I am going to first floor. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're here. Um. Whew. Where am I going? No. Is... Yeah, evidence. Hey, hi. what are you doing here? Who let you in? Oh, uh, hi, Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how'd you get in without a key? Oh, I'm sorry. I just told security I was working with you and they let me in. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. It's these damn paycheck cuts. It's okay. You can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Oh, well, 
I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey, don't mess with anything else in here, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. All right. I like you, Evelyn. <laughs> you, tr you sassy, sassy. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. Well, just a drug deal gone bad. Ugh, I still feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. I'm gonna head upstairs. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. Alright, Ricky mistake. Come on, follow me. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, not now. I wasn't supposed to call me yet. I need to take this somewhere private. Alright, let's go back up the stairs. To the uh to the to the bathroom, I I think. Hold on! Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on, I need to go to the bathroom. Excuse me, coming through. Nothing happening, nothing, nothing. Alright, male bathroom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Charlie, I told you not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule oh, and- Oh, you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone. What do you need? See, that's more like- what I need is what we discussed. You still need the money, right? Yeah, I just... I don't like it. Well, tough shit! Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties, and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here. I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you'll... Where is it? William and Son's bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be in the case. And hey, remember... You're doing this for the kid. <sighs> William and Sons. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Okay, so each trial is kind of short. Don't crash, please. There you go. It is kind of short. It's just that I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, what? See, now this is what I was expecting. <sighs> You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This will be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. Hey. You know, I hate to say it, but I was almost rooting for you. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Bentham was an interesting choice. I mean, that's what most people would say, but in practice... Anyways, you've got more trials, and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. Okay, fine. So, each trial is actually pretty short. I'm just being the idiot here, making this harder than expected. Oh, hi. So, what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash register was completely emptied. So was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah. I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking... Maybe I could help you. No, no, you better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just, uh, be right here. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's get this over with. Are these evidences? Handgun. PM-40 model. This must have been the bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. Okay. You'd be light. Hmm. Nothing. What's this? Hmm. This could be useful. Uh-huh. 
cash register empty bottles bottles straight up bar nothing special oh handprints shush actually you know what let's <laughs> let's get some music going Hmm. Can I not check the register? Alright, I'll be checking every single thing. Don't mind me, Evelyn. Oh, key. Handprint. I'm just shoving handprints up my ass. Is that what you do for a living... <laughs> oh. God, could these guys have at least made an attempt to be clean? Williams and Sons on Lee Doctor. Doctor Lee on. No, okay, whatever. Take all the money. Bartender's arm. Save is in the office. Code is 7365. We have a guy on the scene, but don't get sloppy, Charlie. 7365. 7365. Oh, I'm gonna need more than just a towel for this. Yep. 7365. 7365. 7365. Hmm. 7365. Clean as a whistle. Oh, you're cleaning up. I thought you're shoving handprints up your ass. <laughs> Oh god. Ah, there it is. Oh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. Do, 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 do. Wait, are you helping them by cleaning up the evidences? Is that what you're doing right now? Don't tell me that's what you're doing, Matthew. I know you love your son, but sometimes these these are these are risky maneuvers, okay? You you can't do that. Okay. Shit. Shit. Fuck. 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 Shit. Okay, take your pills. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Okay. You're fine. You're fine, Matthew. You're fine. You'll be okay. Whoopsies. I didn't mean to close the door, but there is no mirror in here as well. Uh, Evelyn, you don't mind me going inside, right? Yeah, I'm just... just... I can't go in. Alright. So, where are the other handprints that I missed? Some stuff. Yeah, I can use that. Oh. Uh, I picked up... I picked up by accident. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? It's probably in the pool somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Seven three six five. Do I need to remember that? Seven three six five. Hmm. Weirdest music ever. Okay. Oh, am I need to? Do I need to clean up the blusting? Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are the other bloodstains? Hmm. 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 Are there any blood stains here that I need to clean up? Are there any blood stains in here that I need to clean? Did you just spill anything? Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. You really need to get some better goons. Whew. I'm glad I clicked around. Broom? Do I need it? No. I'm stuck. Oh. Fucking hell, I can see that. Alright. I think that's everything. 
I should talk to Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn. All right, I think we're done here. Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. What? How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I just... I couldn't find anything. Are you... That... That can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could, and there was nothing. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back to the cruiser. I'll take you home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. So you are trying to cover it. Okay. No one's here. Good. What are you planning? What do you want to do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh no. Um, okay, that's not how match works, but... Matthew, what the fuck? Um... A night out drinking. And that, my friend, is why you're in here with me. Cleaning up evidence from a crime scene, I expected more from you. I mean, not really, but still. All for what? Some money? That's a little thing I like to call greed, and it does not look good on you. You know, I think there's a little more I'd like to learn about you. Head into the next room. I want to test something. Again? Where are you going to test me? Ooh. Hello. Held accountable. And not held accountable. Okay. Let me start with an example. Say you're in a room with a button, and you know that something will happen when you press that button. You don't know exactly what, but something will happen. It could be something terrific, something that could save lives. It could also be catastrophic, killing orphans and puppies the whole nine yards. What about but kitties? You have absolutely <laughs> no way of knowing. What you do know is that you have agency over whether or not you press that button. Pressing it is entirely your choice. With that said, if you did press the button, should you be held accountable for the consequences of these actions, even if you didn't know what they would be? Should someone be held accountable for something in which they have agency, but no knowledge on the possible outcome? Answer by pressing the button of which you agree most strongly with. Once you're finished, exit back out into the hallway. Your next trial is waiting. Um, I don't know. What did he ask again? <laughs> what did he ask again? I'm sorry, there is, there, is a, there is a small little insect flying around and I'm trying to get it. I mean, I could hear what he's saying. So, so should, should that someone be held accountable for pressing the button? Even if you don't know what the consequences are? <sighs> I think you should be held. Because it's your choice. Is it not? Is it not your choice to press the button? So I think it should be held accountable. I mean, I don't know if there's a right or wrong. I don't know if it affects the, the ending of this game. But, um... Yeah, I think you should be held accountable for whatever happens. Um, Alright, let's go on. Why not? I was thinking to separate it into episodes, but maybe not. Because <laughs> it's kind of weird to have two episodes, you know? Especially when it's going to be very short. What is my tip? Uh, open the lights. I think you need it. I think you need the lights. Hello, Joey. Baby. Hey, little buddy. 
I know, I know. Let me get you something to eat. Oh, darn it. Where'd I put the baby food? Well, it's no, probably... I already got it out of there. Set it down somewhere. Cupboard. Uh, are you that forgettable? Ah, uh, Joe. No, not Joey. Sorry, Joey. <laughs> no, not basement. Don't tell me it's in the fucking basement. You you can't do that. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Yeah. There you are. Let's get this to Joseph. Oh, your name is Joseph? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, put it in the bowl. Put it in the uh, blender. What? Dish? What? What am I supposed to do with it? Do I just give it to you? Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Eat up. There you go. Are you getting tired? Come on. Let's put you down for a nap. And he just magically disappeared. I'm never okay. going to let anything happen to you, buddy. Aww. You're going to be okay. And I'm going to make sure I'm okay. Shh. So I can take care of you. You get that money. Don't you worry. What are you getting the money for? For... For your meds? Or for the rent? It's probably the rent. Alright. Go to sleep. Sleep tight, buddy. And good night. Okay. I need to get some work done. Check on the mail, maybe my email too. Sorry. Water has been acting up a bit too. Maybe I can check that out in the basement. Um. Um. I think I broke the gate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I'm fine. Okay. Shh. Close the door. Shush. You fucking. Oh my god. Am I not checking? There you go. Wait, they're gonna start laying off officers? I... I can't lose this job. Hello, officers and detectives. I hope you are all well in these difficult times. I know the past few weeks have been very difficult and things don't seem to be easing up soon. There's no easy way to say this, so I'll get straight to the point. This precinct will be laying off both officers and detectives, while the matter of how many is not certain. Be prepared for the worst. <coughs> I suggest everybody have a safety plan in the event that you must leave the precinct. I will try to get more information on the subject. I will be updating all of you as more details come to light. Please contact me via Captain Stark. Let's see. I need to check oh, on my water bills tank. and my email. Oh, and the water tank downstairs needs to be fixed. Okay, so I need to go down to the basement, but let's go on and check my bills first. What are my bills? More bills. I can't pay for all of these. I'm gonna need to prioritize. God damn. Alright, water tank time, so I need to go to the basement. Ooh, a little basement. Basement. Nice. This is a nice basement. Why do you have a washing machine at the basement? This will help with the water tank. Oh, I need to pick that up. Okay, okay, okay. Is it... Oh, this one, right? There. That should fix things. Yay, there you go. Please don't close the door. 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 Alright. Ah, fuck. <sighs> Hello? Jesus. At least pretend to be happy to what do you need me to do? You really aren't any fun, are you? Charlie, just tell me what the hell you need me to do. Hey, 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 relax, man. Keep cool. I got another job for you. And then I get my money? And then you'll get your money. <sighs> What's the job? You know the laundromat on 8th? Yeah, what about it? No, don't tell That's me. That's my laundromat. And I have a bit of evidence there. You're fronting using a laundromat? How cliche can Hey! You I didn't ask for you to tell me how to run my goddamn business. I... I'm sorry. What do you need? We're moving our operations elsewhere. 
go to the laundromat tomorrow night and clean up the uh, <clears throat> back room. Okay, I'll uh, I'll take care of it. I'll give you more info later. One last job, then I get the money. Finish this, and you'll have enough to take care of everything you need. Good. I'll be there. You know, I don't trust it. I don't trust Charlie. It's, it's always a risky move to, you know, feels like home. You, uh, you really cared about that boy, huh? I mean, not to discredit this whole process, I'm sure you're still a terrible person, just you seem like a good dad, is all. I don't know, it's odd. I typically only see the bad when I'm judging people. I don't understand why I'm seeing all this. But again, you're still a terrible person. Things really are more black and white than you'd think. Anyway, what's the deal with you and this Charlie guy? He seems a bit sketchy. Is he why you're here? Did you cross him? Just one wrong move and then... <laughs> no, no, that'd be too easy. Oh, whatever. Head on outside. Your next trial is waiting for you. Okay. We still have four more? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, laundromat. Now, what did Charlie say? Yeah, four quarters in the out of order machine. Turn the coin slot crank three times. What? This one? Okay, just... Oh, shit, I forgot the damn quarters. How did I even... Oh, it's fine. I just need to figure this out. No, I need to find some more quarters before I can get this open. Uh, are you fucking serious? You need to find quarters? How many? Four? Alright. It's always on the... F oh, a quarter. Well, one down, three more to go. Okay, so you need to find four. Quarters. Two and a three and ah, oh, the last one is always the big difficult ones. <laughs> God damn it. Where is it? Up oh, a four. That should just about do it. Now, let's put these to use. So, just four of these, and there it goes. Oh my god, um... Do I have a flashlight? Okay, I have a UV light. It's so dark in here, and cold. I don't like this. Okay. I don't like Let's this. Let's check this out. I don't Charlie like this. I seem to emphasize wanting his laptop's hard drive erased. Maybe I should start there. Let's see what... Oh, damn it. Charlie didn't give me the password. I'll get the rest of this sorted out and then I'll call Charlie about it. Okay. Uh... What? I'm going to have to clear this place out. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. I need something to carry it in. So, do I need to f use one of the bags? Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> Take your fucking medicine. Oh. oh. That was my last. I just need to stay upright until I can get some more. Can I use this? Okay. You'll be fine, Matthew. You'll be fine. Can I not run? Like, maybe should I not run? <laughs> would that would that help me? Alright. What can I do to clean up the shit? Good thing Charlie gave me the code to do this. 
I can't imagine he gives that out too freely. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs cleaning up. It's too big, though. Needs something to carry it in. So, what am I using to carry it with? Right, I guess I, I do need to find a bag somewhere around here. Ah! Hmm. Yep. This should help me carry everything down there. Nice. All right. Let's hide every single thing. And then get caught. Because why the fuck not? This Jesus. One... What were you planning to do with these, Charlie? This God, one... Charlie's got a small fortune down here. This one... Well, I guess this is how they kept this room oh. warm. It's freezing down here. This one... I guess this explains where a lot of this money is There's coming from. Ten. How many people is he dealing to? <clears throat> this must ones. have been Charlie's private stash. No surprise. Biggest chunk of money and the biggest guns. These ones, no? Alright, fridge. These ones. <laughs> Looks like a few of these guys weren't having a great game. Best I clean all of this up. I guess they were using these cameras as a lookout. It's best to have that footage wiped. Oh, okay. Yeah, this will need to go. Okay. What about this poster? <laughs> Dumpster. <clears throat> Handprints. Ah, handprints. No. Am I not cleaning up the handprints as well? I thought I am. Brought my own towel this time. I I have Let to learn. I just need to be closer. There you go. Okay, I need to get that laptop password. Ah, uh, okay. Hello? What is it? Did you mess something up? No, just... I need the password for your laptop. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. It's, uh... It's Beverly217. Beverly? Yeah, what about it? You got a problem with... No problem. I'll get back to it, but after this... I want my money. And you'll get it. Do this for me, and you're out. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's get to it. I feel like something's bad gonna happen. Matthew? <gasps> Evelyn? What are you doing here? I know what you've been doing. Oh, fuck. What are you me. talking about? Listen, for I may be new to the Force, but I'm not stupid. You've been taking evidence from the scenes. I, I saw you it. driving here, and I followed no, you. No, Evelyn, please. You don't understand. Is it just for the money? Matt, I understand the pay cuts are bad, but... But this? I looked up to you. I'm sorry, Ev... Don't try to apologize. You know I have to report this. I know, but please. I need this. Listen, Matthew. I have too much respect for you. We haven't known each other long, but I understand that you've been serving for decades, and you've been highly regarded. I'm gonna have to ask you to turn yourself in. What? What authority do you have Leave to- Leave with your dignity intact and turn yourself in. You- You need to own up Please, to- Please, Ev. I need this job. I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh. Okay. That fucking scared me. Oh my god. Evelyn. Hello? Hey, it's Charlie. I know who it is. Where can I get my money? That's what I was calling you about. Uh, Matt, I can't pay you. What? Charlie, what do you mean you can't pay me? I said you needed to finish the job. My laptop is still sitting there with all of my information on it. 
That doesn't sound like a done job to me. Charlie, you son of a bitch. Plus, money is tight. I need... What do you mean, money's tight? If I recall, I just cleaned hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your basement. I have a life. I need this. I'm going to lose everything over this. And whose fault is that? You're the asshole that decided to work for me. I appreciate the help. So as a courtesy payment, let's just cut ties clean. You've got too much dirt on yourself to report me, and I won't send anyone to kill you. We'll call it even. Please. This conversation is over. Calling the act. Okay. Hi. I'm having a lot of trouble understanding you. What you're doing is awful, but you seem to have remorse. I mean, your intentions are good, but God, I, I just... What you're doing is inherently bad. You are committing crimes, you are helping criminals, but... No, no. You know what? I deal with the bad people. And if I deal with the bad people, then you're a bad person. What was it you said before? I don't have much remorse. If you've done something bad, then you deserve the punishment. <laughs> well, good. Glad that's all sorted out. Before you go into your next trial, I wanted to question you just one last time, if you'll indulge me. <laughs> I say that like you have a choice. Okay, into the next room you go. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Okay. Ah, not this again. What is this? Selfish and selfless. Yep. What is it? I don't think it's any secret that people act on instinct, at least partially. What's a bit more divisive is what those instincts are exactly. Some would argue that, by nature, the human race cares about survival and protecting what's close to them. They want to ensure that their lives are protected and live to the fullest. In short, they believe that people are inherently selfish. On the other hand, some people believe that people will naturally disregard their own wants and desires for the betterment of a larger community. People would rather benefit the world as a whole rather than benefit themselves. In short, not selfish. So what do you think? Are people inherently selfish by nature or no? Once you answer, head back through the door to your next trial. I mean... I think is selfish. Because selfless is something that you learn from it. I don't think it comes from nature. Selfless is kind of uh, something that you learn from after being too selfish. Uh, selfish, selfless is an, is an act. Selfish is also an act. They're not, humans kind of are naturally selfish because you want to protect yourself. I'm always picking this side. What if I'm wrong though? Does it matter though? Does it matter what ending? Like, like I really do think that people can naturally are selfish, and selfless is something that you, uh, that you, uh, that you, you develop by yourself. I I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're selfish. I'm sorry. Sometimes you gotta be selfish to survive. Okay. It's, it's just what life is. So this is Charlie's place. Why is it so small? I know I cleaned at least 100k from the laundromat. Where's all of that money going? Hmm. Whatever. I need to get what I came here for. I have to stay quiet. Are you fucking serious? What are you doing? Charlie's asleep in there. I need to be quiet. Are you- are you commit- are you- are you- Matthew, what the fuck? Matthew. Matthew. This has to be where he keeps the money. I need to find a way to break into it. 
It's locked up tight. I need something to open it with. Oh, you're gonna get caught. Very soon. Matthew, why? Oh, Charlie. Sam, enclosed in this envelope is some extra money for Beverly. I know you're, you've got enough to get her everything she needs, but maybe treat her to something nice. She deserves it. Find... Find hay? And hey, <laughs> and hey, I know you don't want me to, but could you please reconsider letting me see her? I know what I do isn't best for her. It's all I've got for now. I just want to see her for a bit. Just let me have a day with her. I love her more than anything, and it means the world to me. Take good care of her, and I hope to hear back from you, Charlie. Do you also have a kid who got kidnapped or something? You're gonna get caught, Matthew. You're so gonna get caught. Matthew, you can't do this. I could use this to wedge into the safe. I just need something to jam it in with. Um. Hammer. Remote control. Hmm. Hmm. Spatula. <laughs> um, do you have anything in the fridge that I could use? No? Oh, that was a toaster. Knife? Oh. Is that Beverly? I'm sorry. You both are single fathers. Don't, don't do this. Matthew, please. So what do you need something to jam? Oh, hammer. Yeah, I should be able to open this. Are you, are you fucking sure? Are you fucking sure? Can we close the door? Okay. Quiet now. And there. God, this is more than enough. I can get my medicine and I'm not leaving you just yet, Joey. You're gonna get caught. Alright. Let's get out of here. Close the fucking sick. You're gonna get caught. You gotta get caught. You're so gonna get caught. Wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. I'm so stupid. He's going to trace this back to me. He knows where I live and... Shit. He knows about Joseph. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done this. I can't go back. The safe is already broken and my prints are all over it. Okay, okay. Calm down. I can handle this. I can't let him follow me. I know what I have to do. Don't. Are you fucking gonna kill him? I can do this. I have to do this. Are you fucking serious? No. No. Don't. Please don't. <sighs> For Joseph. Are you fucking serious? I think they may just be that way. You know what? I just don't get it. I don't understand you because you're everything I've ever gone against and everything points to you being an awful person, but I don't know, I mean, for God's sakes, you just killed that guy. You killed him, but you were protecting your son. Or were you just protecting yourself? Yeah, that's a question. How much of what you're doing is wanting to be sure you stay alive for your son, and how much is you just not wanting to die? Is he just some justification for you, or do you actually care? I mean, given that you're here talking to me, obviously things didn't work out too well, did they? 
you've been tampering with crime scenes, you completely betrayed the trust of someone who looked up to you. I don't understand you. The thing is, I have no idea what your motives are. Well, I know what you think your motives are, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe I've been doing this wrong all along. Not just with you, but... I never cared about motive. I never cared about the other people in everyone's life. Bad people were bad people. Now you've come along to mess everything up! Let me ask you something. Do you think this is real? No, really. Do you think I'm real? Why don't you just make me say what you want already? I just... I don't get you at all. I don't know. You have one more trial. I suggest you get a move on. Okay. Well. That... Uh, how the turntables, huh? Okay. So what does this do? Uh, I'm back home. I need to get everything ready. Food, water, keys. My backpack should be upstairs. So do I need to get my backpack? Can I turn this off? Because it's annoying me. Where's the remote control? There it is. Okay. Oh my god, Matthew, what? Oh, that's the closet? Ah. I'm definitely gonna need these, but I'll need oh. to grab my backpack first. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, jeez. Okay, Joey... I think this is my room. Do I not have my UV light? Do I? I need to grab my backpack before. Okay, okay. I need to get the supplies. Can I not turn the light up? Okay, thank you. Jeez. I need my lights. I can't see shit. Alright. Water. A few days worth of water. Where are you gonna hide? What are you doing? Okay, so am I okay? Let's turn this off because I hate the no signal sign, it's just blue screen. <laughs> blue screen, mother of death. You're gonna get caught, Matthew. You're gonna get caught. Oh, god, it's so dark. Food? Where's the food? Can not get food? Where's your food? Ooh, car keys. I'll take the cruiser. No one would suspect an officer. Plus, I can blend in if they find me. Oh, can I take these? Okay, good. This'll be enough for a few weeks. Okay. Okay. That's everything. I need to get Joey. You call Joseph as Joey, that's kind of cute. <laughs> I thought his name is actually Joey, not Joseph. Alright. Shh. Hey, little guy. We have to go now, okay? We'll find somewhere else, though. We'll live happily for as long as we can. Somewhere quiet. Okay. It's time to go. Okay. Where are you gonna go? Where are you hiding? Oh no, don't get in a car crash. Okay, we can drive through the night. I'll find a motel somewhere tomorrow. We can't stay long. We gotta stay on the move. Am I steering? Hey, buddy. Did you have a good nap? <laughs> Everything's okay, little guy. We're going to find a new home. Oh, no. Am I doing anything? Ah. Oh, no. Shit. Okay, okay. It's okay. Hold on, buddy. What are you doing, Matthew? Matthew? No, Matthew. Matthew. No. Matthew, for fuck's sake. Not now. Matthew. Oh, pills. Damn it. I need pills. Oh. 
Oh god, what are you gonna do? Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Jo Joseph. I need to get Joseph. Matthew. Matthew, what the fuck are you doing? Why do you have a gun? Get the f get the fucking kid. Oh god. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew, for fuck's sake, Matthew. Get the fucking kid. Come on, buddy. Let's get out of here. Are you fucking sure? Matthew, are you sure? Matthew, are you sure? I don't think you can go far. Am I moving? Yeah, I'm, I'm still moving. I, I fucking... Matthew. Matthew. Oh, Matthew, you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna pass out and you're gonna drop Joseph. Oh, no. Oh, I can't. Oh no, is Joseph Matthew. safe? What did you do? Please, I j just want Matthew, put the gun down. Please, stay take me. down, Matthew. I just let me take my put son. Put the gun down and surrender. Don't, don't. Are you gonna? S Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! Midnight drive! Oh my God! Sorry, Matthew. Really. This isn't how it should have ended for you. It's respectable that you took action, though, and I mean that. The funny thing, though, I... I still don't know what to do with you. Maybe this is all more subjective than I thought. Did your actions matter? Did your motives? What were your motives? Honestly, why is anything bad in the first place? Who even decided that? I don't know doesn't make much sense. Maybe you're bad, maybe you're not. I just... I don't know. You know what? I said I only had one more question, but this one's important. Step outside. I've got one more trial for you. Oh, and before I forget the question I asked before, I think I'm as real as you want me to be. Okay... God, I did not know that this game will be, will, will have a big turnaround. <laughs> I did not expect that. Please enter. Ooh, am I in heaven? Is this like purgatory before, and then here's an angel? That's trying to decide if I should go to heaven or hell. I think that's it. Okay. What is this? Am I choosing between heaven or hell? Can I pick? Okay, 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 okay. Look, I just can't decide what to do with you. Your actions are just uh, polarized. So I decided I'd let you make the decision. Now I want you to think very carefully about how you answer this. Really consider what this means. All I have to ask is, do you think you're a good person? Take your time to answer the question, then head back through the door. <sighs> Am I a good person? Is Matthew a good person? He is good. He, he's a detective. He's good at solving crimes. He's a single father. He takes care of Joey. I don't know what happens to Joey in the end, but I hope he's safe. He's just trying to protect his child. He doesn't have enough money to get through 
Uh, he just need needs his medication. I'm very sympathetic. <laughs> I I sympathize very deeply with with a lot of people, and like I could feel I could feel for Matthew because you really don't have a choice if you're. Like if your job is going down, it's kind of like how the pandemic is now. Like a lot of people are losing their jobs because of the pandemic, and they are trying their best to find the money to pay the rent and to get food and and meds for themselves. Like Matthew has something wrong with that with his heart, I think, or maybe it's whatever. Just. He just needs meds, and they're so expensive. He just needs his money. Fucking ah.、Uh. Of course, he he does crimes just to earn some money. I think I think Matthew is a good person, despite him being, like you know, making all the crimes and all that. All those kinds of things, but I think he's a good person. He's just trying to protect his kid. He's just trying to protect his kid. He's doing criminals, criminals just to protect his kid. It, it, yeah. Okay. I understand. Head back to the door. It's waiting for you. Uh, it's a debatable question. You could say that he's not a good person because he did crimes just to protect his kid. But on the other hand, he's he's just trying to protect his kid. <sighs> well, I think, I think this is purgatory for judgment, and I think I'm going to heaven. Now. Okay. Can I go? <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god! <sighs> I hate it. it. Made me think a lot. You know that? Really, I'm. I'm honestly glad to have met you. And I know it's scary. You have no way of knowing what's through that door. And honestly, neither do I. I know just as much as you do. And as much as we've gone through, I still don't know what you deserve. Maybe things are too subjective to ever、mm -hmm. really tell. All I know is that you're gonna go through a change in a few seconds, and no matter what it is, it'll be okay. Good or bad, you'll be okay. Good luck with whatever comes next. Goodbye, Matthew. Yeah, it has to be an archangel, an arch, arch, archangel, judging me whether I'm the good person or not. And here I am, maybe in the next life, or going in heaven or hell, whatever, purgatory even. Welcome to where? Am, am I still moving? Summerland. And that's it. Okay. Um. Holy shit. I did not think that it was gonna be this heavy. I did not think that it's gonna talk about our life this much, like about humanity and all that stuff. Like, where if you're a good person and do you think the human race naturally comes as selfish? And you know all those psych psychology and all that stuff. And okay, all those voice actors, very very nice voice acting. Like you could actually feel for them. Whew. Okay, sketch fab contributors, <laughs> triple squeak. 
That's a cute name. <laughs> Turbo Squeak. Oh, you're even showing what fonts you use? That's kind of... <laughs> kind of weird, but I'm glad I know that. Also nice music. Hi, this is Connor. I just wanted to briefly thank you for playing my passion project. I do truly appreciate you taking the time to experience what I've been working so hard to create, and it wouldn't be possible without players like you supporting me throughout. It's been a genuinely incredible experience being able to talk directly with you, take feedback, and create, create a real community around what I do. I truly hope that I can keep making more projects in the future games or otherwise, and keep making you all proud. Until next time, thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Connor Rush. Great game, Connor. Great game. I'm proud of you. With all this, this said, I would greatly appreciate you supporting my future projects however you can. One way you can do this by donating to my studio if you're able. I've made this game free to ensure that as many people as possible can play, so donations will help me continue to do what I love. You can also purchase or steam, stream the game's soundtrack or most major platforms. Any contribution helps. Thank you so much again. You are truly incredible. Donate? Where does this lead to? Fire games. Okay. Ah, I see. Well, I will donate and maybe stream some of the soundtrack because this soundtrack is amazing. I like the guitar. Am I gonna go back to the menu screen? Yep, I am. Alright. Holy shit. <laughs> I... Boom. I did not expect this. Extras. Dum, 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 dum. I like that. <laughs> Ooh. We got art. In game art. Matthew Police Portrait. Lisa Slicker. Oh, Lisa Slicker did all of it. Well done. Holy shit. There's Anna. Matthew and Anna. Matthew and Joseph. Oh. Selfish. Selfless. Freedom. Law. Dang. More by this artist? Lisa Sliger. It, it, it just goes to Facebook. Zachary Morphew for concept inspired art. Forest One for a dang. Room interior sketch. On the run. Final decision. Care to design. I wonder what happens if you. If you say you're not a good person, all right. Maybe we'll maybe we'll probably do that. Uh, right now, <laughs> can I do that right now? Can I click? Con what what happens if I click continue? Oh, this is just where I was. Okay, so I think I could. Can I skip this? <laughs> so now I could try if I, like, if I choose, if I'm not the good person. I wonder what happens. I'll, I'll probably. S what if I say no? Okay, I understand. Head back to the door. It's waiting. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, judge. Let's go. And see if there's anything changed. New achievement? Nothing. Okay, so... It doesn't matter. It's just your choice. Okay. That that's fine. So that's all for today for uh Summerland. Um again, 
did not expect this to be kind of like the Stanley Parable or any other games that that uh, that goes on heavy topics. Well, this is not really heavy. This is more of a this this is not heavy as to you know the whole suicide or depression or any other mental health things. This I think. Uh, there, they only pops up the warning that's saying that oh, it's epilepsy and uh, kind of you know flashing lights and all of that, all of those things. Uh, yeah, great game, great voice actors. I really, I really enjoy it. Uh, even though sometimes, uh, it's actually very obvious and very easy to play. It's just me being dumb. Okay. It's just me overthinking, thinking that uh, oh no, there has to be something little, little small, tiny bitsy pieces that I need to click, but it's just, it's it's just <laughs> easy stuff and pretty obvious. And I've been playing this for two hours, but I feel like it is possible to play this in, like, around two hours or maybe even less than an hour. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you're not being stupid, then. It's probably very quick. Uh, this game is free, so I uh, I feel like it has to be paid because it's way too beautiful to be free, you know. But I get why they uh, he wants it. Connor wants it to be free, cause uh, he he just wants to share his his project for in, in Steam and. You know, for anyone who wants to support him, you can stream the uh, the soundtrack, which is amazing acoustics, and also donating. Consider donating to Fire, what what was his name? Fire Games. Fire Games. So yeah, I'll be donating maybe a few few dollars. Uh, even if you choose that, you're not. You feel like you're you yourself. You're not a good person, or you think you're a good person. There's no difference. There is no new achievement. There is no new endings. There is nothing. There's just nine achievements to get, and I already got all of them. Um, yeah, because I don't think it, it's just your own opinion, and I don't think it deserves a like. I get I get why it doesn't need a new ending, and I. Like the fact that it doesn't need a new ending because uh, you thinking yourself a good person or a bad person doesn't really matter because that's just your own opinion, and I don't think you need to be punished or you need to be argued uh, why why you feel that way because that's just your own opinion, and I don't think it I don't think anyone could help you change your change your mind if you feel. If someone else thinks that you're a bad person or a good person, well, someone would argue to. <clears throat> no one would normally argue saying that no, you're actually a good person. Most of most of people would say that no, you're actually a bad person. And I feel like me and the first choice thinking that uh, in in those two choices where I think oh, human race naturally or selfish. Um, uh, what what else? Uh, do you think pressing the buttons without knowing what what will happen is justified or held accountable? Uh, I think it would be. Did I choose held accountable? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I I kind of want to choose not held accountable, but at the same time, I'm like. I I'm just very, I'm very, fuzzy with the whole, uh, what what question I was asked with so. I don't know. I probably, cause thinking about that, I, I probably think it way too lawfully good, thinking that uh, well you're the one who pressed it. It's your choice, so of course you're gonna held accountable. But <laughs> at the same time, I also feel like well you really don't know, so I think you should let it slide for this time. Because you really don't know what will happen if you press the button, and everyone just like pressing the button. You just want to boop it, especially when it's red. So, I I really don't know. Uh, what what was the first question as well? Oh, the trolley question. Like thinking that uh, whether or not you you did it wrong or something, and I think that killing one person is better than five people. I don't know. 
there's like no right or wrong answer in all the choices in this game made. And I think this is a really nice game to show show what I am as a person and what what other people are are when they cho when they chose to play this game. Because you could tell that like especially in the ending, I, I feel like I feel like Matthew is not a bad person. Because he's just trying to uh, he's just trying to uh, do do what do do everything to protect his kid, and even though he killed someone, he did some crimes. He helped Charlie to do all the crimes just to save his, just to protect his little kid as a single father. And I get that, especially when you you just have no plan, you have no future, and you you're just feeling lost. You would sometimes take risky maneuvers and but that doesn't mean you're entirely a bad person because a bad person means that I don't know what a bad person really means but if Matthew is like uh, he's just doing everything on purpose without a reason then I guess I would think that he was a bad person I don't know that's just what I think okay so well, feel free to write in the comments when, what you think, and if you think that Matthew or is a bad person, or maybe if you think other the choices, the three choices that I made are kind of wrong. So maybe you could explain everything else. But yeah, all right. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you want more videos uh, <laughs> similar like this. I'm busy doing assignments, so I'm a little bit. Uh, not really doing much videos and I'm also out of ideas. <laughs> well, the TV will be signing off for today. Bye.